Hi, I'm Sarah from Fireline and welcome to our very first YouTube video. To celebrate National Fire Safety Door Week this week, we've put together a video for you to demonstrate how you should be checking your fire doors to make sure that they are safe and compliant. We hope you enjoy this video. Hello, I'm Mervyn Park from Fireline and we're going to talk to you about fire door checks. Fire doors is very important for compartmentation of buildings. It contains the fire in one part of the building, allowing everybody to get out safely and also protect the building. So what we're going to do is take you through each step of the door. Different parts of the door needs checking. And please remember, once you've done your checks, enter it into the logbook. Checks need to be done depending on the use of the door. With one in the corridor that gets a lot of use, then I would say check it on a weekly basis. Somewhere like a door going into an electrical cupboard, only used very occasionally, then just once a month. Even so, just log it in the book each time you do it. The first check to do is to look at the condition of the door. So you're looking at the frame all the way around the door and also the door itself. Is it all in condition? Good condition and no marks, no damage at all. Open the door and check the other side. Check in that there's no damage at all to the framework and to the door itself. So the next thing to do, if your door has got glass, then you've got to check the condition of the glass. Is the glass orange? tack, no cracks, and is the frame around the glass holding it in, is that in good condition and not broken in any way. The glass itself should be reinforced glass with a wire inside like this one, or you can have clear glass, but also what you need to do with clear glass is make sure that you've got the British kite mark um, symbol in the bottom left hand corner of the glass. That will tell you that it's proper glass, fireproof glass put in there. The next thing to check is the seals around the door. These seals is smoke and heat seals. If it's not the brush type, it's just a smooth type of seal fitted, then that is just for heat, not smoke. So with these seals, they go up the side of the frame, across and down the other side. You don't have one at the bottom. They can be fitted around the door, either is acceptable. If you've got two of these strips fitted in the door or in the frame next to each other, then that is for a 60 minute retention on the smoke. So it's all rated at that. So make sure that the seal itself is in good condition or the strips is in place. And most importantly, make sure that nobody's painted over them. Quite often we come across where the decorators have painted the strips and obviously they're not going to do their job properly because what happens is these strips expand when they get hot and make a seal between the frame and the door. And that stops any smoke or heat going through the gap. If they've been painted over, they won't work. The next thing to check is that you've got three hinges fitted. All fire doors has got to have a minimum of three hinges fitted. The hinges has got to be to British standard and they will be marked with the kite mark. Also make sure that all of the screws is in place and are tight. Otherwise the hinge will just be loose. The other thing is make sure that this door hasn't got one, but if yours have got a, um, a secure and catch, then with a handle, make sure that that's all tight and working properly. The next thing to check is that all fire doors have got to have a closing system on. This one has got an overhead type system. These is very popular. They're very good and you can adjust them as well so that the door will close fully. So you've got the overhead one that when you open it, 
it would then return the door to its closed position. Just holding it at the moment, also that closure, you could have one fitted in the back of the door. It looks like a small chain here. That is acceptable as well. What happens is when you let go of the door, the door should close fully, like so. If they close too fast or is not closing properly, this tight you can adjust. To hold the door open um, to British standard and to make sure that you're legal, there's two ways of doing it. You've got an expensive way, which is if you've got a fire, full fire alarm system installed, you can change the closure and it's built into that. That's a fixed system with the fire alarm. It's very good, very efficient. A cheaper alternative and easy method is to use a door guard, one like this. What happens, it's bolted to the bottom of the door and then when you want the door to stay open, you push the button down, it holds the door open. If you want to close the door, you just release, kick the button and it releases, the door closes. If you've got the door open and the alarm system goes off, it picks up the noise and the door will close. The last thing to check is the signage. All of the fire doors should have a sign on, similar to this, which says fire door keep shut. The sign should be on both sides of the door. These is in the opening and closing, your normal everyday doors. If you've got an electrical cupboard, the fire door keep locked sign is like that. And that should go on to that door. Just a small recap now, what you've got to do, make sure that your, your doors is closing, in good condition throughout, and they're all up to standard. But please always remember after your checks, make sure you put it in the fire log book so that there's records of it being done. Well, all of us at Fireline hope that you found that video useful. Over the next few months, we're going to be putting more videos together such as this to help you with your fire protection obligations. So in order to keep up to date, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also find us on Twitter and Facebook. Our name is at Fireline UK. And if you've got any ideas of any videos that you think that we should be putting together to help you with your fire protection obligations, please get in touch with us because we'll be more than happy to put something together for you. Well, thank you very much and thanks for watching.